Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and today we're gonna do a compression test on a DD platform. This is the same test we would conduct on DD 13, 15, and 16. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to subscribe to us if you're not subscribed to us yet, and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. Let's get right into this. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon Okay guys, so the reason why a technician would want to run this test is if we get an engine with high crankcase pressure or if we get complaints about low power or we want to check the overall condition of the engine. Okay, so crankcase pressure can be caused by, or high crankcase pressure can be caused by a worn out liner, worn out piston rings, uh, valves or jake brakes being out of adjustment, or even a loose injector hold down bolt. So basically this test collects the information that the injectors are reading, turns it into percentage. All we're looking for is all cylinder, cylinders need to be above 85%. We're gonna run this test just a few times, probably three times just to get an accurate reading. So let's get right into that. Okay, so first I'm gonna start the test. I'm gonna crank the engine. The computer is gonna disable the actual fuel going into the system so it won't start. Uh, it's gonna let me turn the ignition a few times and it's gonna let it read and gather the information. We're gonna come back to the PC and check the reading out. So let's get that started. I'm gonna just click yes and go ahead and crank it. So once it's done cranking, we hit OK, and it's going to give us our readings. So as you can see, everything, uh, we're looking at 100%, um, nothing under 85%. So this truck looks good. Uh, we're going to run the test, as I mentioned. We'll run this a couple of times just to, just to verify accuracy. So here we go again. Actually, I'm going to have to key it off first. Let me key it off real quick so it can reset itself. PSL basically just suggests you do one test per key cycle. So let me restart it. Okay, again, we're gonna run test. Truck's been sitting a little bit, so the batteries are, I can hear getting a little weak, but we're still getting good compression test readings here, nothing under 85%. So none of these cylinders here look faulted. Okay, so if we did get a fault reading, then we would move over to a manual compression test. Uh, but since we did not get any kind of compression uh, or bad readings on compression, then we can pretty much X out that the, that the engine has low compression. So, okay guys, so this was just a quick informational video. This is a test that we run on DD 13, 15, and 16. It's a quick test that we use to basically check the condition of the engine if any cylinder is suspected. And as I mentioned, as long as, there's, as, long as they're over 85%, it's good to go. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something. If you got any questions or concerns about your DD15, please leave us a comment below. I'll be more than happy to give you a hand. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and also hit that notification bell so you're notified on our next video. So until next time, guys, be safe.